it hurts. It hurts. It freaking hurts because not only are you dealing with stuff that really in reality, you probably should have dealt with when you were a kid, right? All of us, we should have dealt with all kinds of stuff when we were a kid, when we were growing up, we felt something really wrong. We should have been able to reach out. So now we have all these adults that are really stuck as little kids and coping and acting with things like they're little kids because we've never reached these developmental milestones on certain things. Like for me, when it came to shame, I never reached the milestones of like going to other people, realizing that was a thing, realizing you could ask people for help and that people would truly try to help you. I never had that. I never had that experience. So that was never, like you said earlier, like you don't know if you don't know. If you yeah. don't know shame exists, you don't even know what you're looking for. You're just waking up feeling shitty going, where, what do we do? How do we fix this? And you don't even know where to start. Yeah. So the first thing I, you just got to narrow it down when you narrow it down and you figure out what are some things that really, really bothered me throughout my life. And if you could just write those things down, you know, maybe somebody said I was fat. Maybe somebody said I was overweight and that really bothered me. All right, let's delve in on it. Let's figure out at what point in time was this fat thing just so strong to you that it made you feel this way? Because there's something. You may not remember it off the bat. You may have to go back and retrace. And that's the hard part of all this is yeah. that going through those emotions and having to retrace where you were and how you felt at that time, it hurts because you've got to bring all that up again. And that's painful. But mm -hmm. if you bring it up, if you find where it's at, if you give it the light and you say, hey, all this ugly stuff can come out here and be shown. Mm -hmm. that will shed a light on things and you will start growing in ways you never even thought was a possibility because things like this, people are meant to be resilient, right? We're going to fall down in life. Everybody sees a kid fall down. What do you tell the kid? Get up, wash it off, dust it off, put a bandaid on it. You know, we move on. We never yeah. sit there and tell the kid, Oh, just lay there, just lay there, just cry it out, sit, let everybody hear you, let it bleed out. No, we're called to action. We're people that we are to see something, look at it, figure out what's going on and do something about it, right? So yeah. why are we having these shame instances every time in our life, looking at it, recognizing it, and then saying, fuck that, ignore it. Put it away in a box. Let's never talk about it again, right? No, yeah. we need to see these things, find somebody that you feel comfortable, you know, saying something to. If you don't feel comfortable, that's exactly what I want to do. I have a whole business, Unchained Empath. You can go to uh, our Facebook page, click on their anonymous, post your story anonymously. No one knows who you are, what you're going through, anything. But people will post and say, I'm here with you. I'm sitting with you. Yeah. And that's it. We don't need to know what you feel about the conversation, what you might do in the situation. We don't, we don't care. What's that going to change? Yeah. Nothing. Mm -hmm. But you know what? knowing that people are here with you, sitting in that moment with you, feeling that shame, and we're all saying it's okay to move on. It's okay to feel it, but we're not gonna sit here all day, right? I tell yeah. everyone, everyone who has any, any, anything to do with me, if they're like, hey, you know, I'm feeling really, really sad, you know, what do I do? You sit in it, but you only sit in it for that day. Tomorrow, we're a new person. Tomorrow, we're shedding this. We're going to be sad right now and I'll cry. I'll weep with you because I feel shame. I feel it from people. I will sit and weep with you. But after that, you get up. We don't get to sit here our whole lives. We don't get to feel bad for ourselves our whole lives. There's people who have been through so much worse, so much better, and we're going to get up there with them. Yeah. We don't have to sit here. 